Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis. So today we're going to talk about uh, Ebony's heartless decision to not permanently bubble a player, a, a deceased player. And then I'm going to show you a new event that's going on on servers, long awaited actually. And then why are we looking at this speed pack? Because it's the last day of the non-event. And really this is it before All-Stars, I think. Maybe there's one more non-event day where you could buy speed up packages to heal, but this isn't the one you want. This is the crappy one you're gonna get in Battlefield if you don't buy this one. So this is the heal one, but Ebony doesn't offer it during events and All-Stars is during events. So you gotta kind of think ahead. Am I gonna need to heal during All-Stars or during qualifying round? If you do, promo code Genghis, Aptoid, information how to download it is in the description to the video so let's get to the actual video now okay so first thing let's get to the event that's going on on other servers so if we go here into activity there's the treasure of a boss and for a long time people had noticed that if you look here if i click the one two three on the side you can see different type different tiers of treasure of a boss and you can level it up now if you're familiar with all my videos, you would remember about six, seven months ago, the greatest glitch of all time in Ebony where people could get free troops if they trained too many at a time, it would overload the system. Look back for that video. Anyways, that glitch is closed. If it even existed, there's debate on that. But the point is, if it does ex did exist, this would have been a cool keep for it because it increased your training capacity and that was all part of that glitch. Anyways, uh, let's look at how that event works on other servers. So here is the event, it's called Alliance Duel and uh, Alliance with at least 20 players signed up uh, can enter the event, enter match stage. Alliances with insufficient participants cannot participate at the end of the round of the battles. Alliances that successfully participate in the event will receive rewards for all signed participants. Alliances with similar, similar tiers will randomly be divided into groups. Alliances that have successfully participated for each round of battles, alliances can adjust their lines called the attacking side and the others the defending side. There will be two battles between each alliances. Uh, it's kind of, you know, it's, I heard it's not PVP. I heard it's just, it sounds like this, but I guess we'll see when it comes to our servers. And anyways, this is the castles you can get, and there's a reward shop where you get to use this. So I actually don't know more about it. I heard whispers. It is not a PVP event. It's more like those, the Alliance event where you do tasks like, uh, train so many troops or kill so many monsters or use so much stamina and that's how you win. Am I wrong? Do you have this on your server? Is it a PvP event more like Hun's invasion? Anyways, let me know in the comments and now let's get to the heartless part of Ebony. All right, so here we are. This is from player, uh, I guess you could pronounce his name for you, eh? It's a PG channel, but one of the all-time great handles in all of Ebony. Anyways, he shows me a player named Cam Can. Let's check him out. Uh, he's deceased, 4.7 billion, so they've been able to, luckily so far, convince everyone on server. I think they've had an SVS since it's happened, basically saying, hey, this is what happened. The guy's deceased. Uh, can you leave this guy alone? We're trying to get him a permanent bubble. So let's look at more of the information. He's basically said, hey, we had this player in our alliance die a bit about, over a month ago. So that's maybe two SVSs. They got a third one coming up. And he's had this back and forth with customer service. So let's look at it. Uh, he gives the information to customer service. And then they say, uh, we'll be happy if the player does not log in tomorrow. That would be the 30th day. We'd be happy to respond and uh, basically bubble them it says we've reported your request to our team and apply a bubble for the related player thanks to the patience our team has detected that there are many golden cities for the player and the player has a high vip level which we are currently unable to handle and then the guy's obviously what does that mean just give him the bubble since after adding the permanent bubble the resources of the account will be cleared and the subsidy would be released to at the same time therefore we cannot process it so it sounds like Ebony doesn't want to 
process it because they want other people to zero this guy and take his cities, his subsidies, and his resources. And somehow his VIP is important to Ebony. I don't know why. Uh, anyways, this is basically it. And let's look more. He provides more information to me, which he gave to uh, customer service before. You can see Brown Funeral Homes, Obituary, Kenneth Minow Jr. And uh, he sent them it. And basically, that's it. And sounds like Ebony is being, uh, you know, not uh, overly sensitive. They're not, uh, I don't see, understand why. Like, like, as the player said to me, uh, you know, it means nothing to Ebony to just press bubble and it would mean so much to people on the server. Like right here, you have a person, RIP Cam Vaughn, right? And let's get the server number here. This is 544. So, and the coordinates of the player are 569, 637. So if you want to write Ebony customer service, let them know that you're dissatisfied with this and that this player deserves a permanent bubble. Uh, I think that would be much appreciated. I think that'd be a good thing to come around in the community and uh, help each other out. So anyways, uh, thanks to the Alliance here and the players for writing me, letting me know about this, and hopefully we can uh, help them out. So anyways, this is Genghis. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.